Hello, students. Welcome back. I want to give you a quick little intro to the lab activity for this week, having to do with plate tectonics. So moving into your book, after you've written your hypothesis, you're going to have a map to work with for your lab activity. And on your map, and I just want to give you a visual here to help you understand what it is you're going to be expected to do. You're going to be using your other maps in your book to help identify the locations of various things on this world map, including the major mountain ranges. Notice I've drawn the Rockies, the Andes, the Himalayas, the Alps. You're going to be drawing the location of the mountain ranges. Next, you're going to draw the ring of fire, the ring of fire, that zone around the Pacific Ocean where most of the world's volcanoes exist because of plate boundaries. After that, you're going to draw the boundary zones where major earthquakes happen. These green lines here are areas where most of the world's earthquakes take place. So you're going to color code the lines for earthquakes. Next, you're then going to draw the plate boundaries in black. Notice the black lines. You're going to trace, generally speaking, the outline of the major plate boundaries. And your book and the other maps will be helpful in this regard. And you can probably already see some things happening here with your map while you are labeling the names of the different major plates. So your map, by the time you are finished, by the time you're finished, your map should look something like this. And you're going to use that map in order to answer a variety of questions about plate tectonics and different major events that take place around the world every day. So I will finish this quick little intro with uh, a song. I'll play some music for you while you're working on this as I fade away with a smile on my face saying, bye-bye for now. <laughs>